Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your very quick reading this week. I am still in the middle of moving, as you can see. So I'm just wanting, I just want to still do this this week. I don't want to miss a week. I'm trying to stay consistent here, guys. <laughs> um, and your comments do motivate me. So make sure that you let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. Okay. But anyway, let's dive into it for the 29th to the 4th, please, Spirit of August for my lovely, my lovely Geminis. Let's see. Right. Fork in a road, my goodness. I did just shuffle that, but um <laughs> Aquarius just had this as well. So it looks like the air signs are facing some sort of crossroads in their life here. So you're being guided to use your intuition, allow the light to guide you. It may be subtle, whatever this answer is, um, for where you should be going on your path or where the next step is, but just be aware of distractions, okay? So a really good way of making a choice is when you sit with yourself for a while to really think about it. You have TikTok though, so Aquarius didn't have this, so clearly this is a message for you. Um, maybe you feel a little bit stuck and you're feeling like, oh my God, I need to make an answer now. Uh, Spirit saying you can't control the timing of when the answer comes to you. If you're making space for it, then of course, then you're doing the work you need to do. But if it's still not coming to you, whatever the answer is of where you're going, it's for a reason, okay? They're saying to let it go, okay? Meaning... Maybe saying an affirmation or a prayer would really help unless you've done it already to give it to God, you know, give it to the universe, allow the universe to bring in clarity when it's the best, most divine time for it. Okay. Cause that might help you out a lot. The TikTok card is kind of feeling like you're running out of time, but it's not in your control either. Whatever this thing is clearly it's about making a decision. So let's carry on and like piece the puzzle together. My lovely Gemini's please spirit. All right, please, spirit. Okay. Number 15 could be important in a way, right? Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You're being called to have some pride this week. Be proud. All right. And we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So that's what they're calling you to do is to try and have fun in these moments, to be proud of something that maybe you already have achieved or maybe the position that you're in today um, and to bring some lightheartedness to your current situation. Let's carry on. Let's see what else is coming through. You've been called to bring some fiery energy into your life with pride. All right, for my lovely Geminis. You have the card dissipating. We'll pull some more for you. All right. You also have gratitude. Makes sense. And gossip. Mm. So the first one that came up is dissipating. Okay, so that's interesting. Because we have this like, oh my gosh, time is running out with the TikTok card. But then we have a card of like kind of just allowing life to slip away and just dissipating without doing much with your time. So maybe because something is on standstill at the moment and you can't control it, you might be letting go of other areas where maybe you are in control. So, you know, don't sit around waiting by the clock. I think that's another um, example of why dissipating could be coming up. I think I, I, I'm definitely guilty of doing this in my life. So it's completely normal and we all do it from time to time where you just want that one answer in one specific area of your life that you literally cannot focus on anything else. I get it. But they are asking for you to unplug. I'm seeing unplug. Some of you need like a social media detox or a technology detox or they're suggesting to unplug from the distractions so that maybe you can actually get a bit more focused here as well. You know, yeah. Anyway. Then you have gratitude. Spirit's calling for you to be grateful this week with the people that you do have around you or the things that you do have, okay? Instead of focusing on a lack, on what you don't have currently, the answers, the path, the next step, and actually focus on the present energy. Again, it could be very important. And then you have gossip, guys. So um, there could be a little bit of judgment going on around you. I don't know if this is you, gossiping I, I i like to keep it balanced in my readings i'll let you guys decide who it is it doesn't have to be or if it is other people who are gossiping about you 
Um, the story behind this is that this lady is so vibrant. She stands out a lot. You know, she loves green. So everything is green, including her outfit. But people are like, oh, she's so weird. But eventually they actually come to realize that she was a very nice person after she goes. So it's like people might judge you for something that is unique about you, Gemini. But deep down, you have a good heart and people can't deny that even if they try. You know, it's just something. It's a fact. I think you guys are very um, nice people. Okay, but let's carry on. Let's get some more cards out here. And that could be also a little bit of a lesson just for somebody out there. It could just be one person needs to hear it. And again, there's no judgment here. If there is gossip, the person that you might be gossiping about might actually be a good person deep down. But you will know that better than me. But let's just uh, just stay away from gossip, as they say. Right, let's see. For my lovely Geminis. Be loyal to what you love. Okay. Some of you may have fallen out of like a, a real like a passion that you once had. Oh, it's upside down. Brown bear, take time out. All right. I love that. I was going to say like some of you need to step into a mother wound is what they're saying. I don't know how that relates to it, but it was just in my mind. Um, but the take time out is kind of like the four souls. It's like a hibernation card. Take some time to hibernate again, which is interesting. Don't let your life dissipate. I think for a lot of you, the hibernation is actually about going within. I really think a lot of you need to connect back to your spirit again. I think sometimes the outer world can absolutely be a distraction, um, and distract us from who we really are and what we really find joy in. Like specifically for a lot, like even if you watch a lot of tarot readings, sometimes it can be kind of like numbing because you're looking for a specific something, you know, and then you, you end up like kind of tuning out a little bit. And it's because like maybe you should be doing something else with your time, like actually taking action on these things that bring you empowerment. Sometimes listening to it can be great to know, okay, I'm on the right path. But sometimes it's really about bringing that action in so that you feel good about it actually happening and not just the idea of it be loyal to what you love what have you accidentally fallen out of i'll get one more koi fish spirit there's always enough which is interesting because this says you know um if there is ever any envy or a fear that time is running out which makes sense okay i'm getting so many messages now right sometimes that dissipating can feel like it becomes numbing when you feel like you should be doing so many things, you know, that you end up becoming quite numb and then you just stick to the distractions that stop you from getting, you know, overwhelmed. Does that make sense? Like whether it's TV, whether it is just like numbing out on some bad, like things that are just not very rewarding, but they, I don't know, like scrolling on social media, it doesn't really add anything to your life, but it makes you feel good because you're seeing things that are funny or whatever. Um, you know, step away from that. Let's unplug those things. Take a time out from those things, I feel like, and connect back to yourself. Connect back to gratitude. Step away from gossip because there is always enough kind of feels like to me you're being kind of advised that it's okay to slow down. I think it's the being in a rush and needing to know that's actually causing you to dissipate, which is so ironic because... I usually read the dissipating card as like, okay, let's get up and do something, which is true. But for you, you're being called to take a time out, but don't dissipate. Taking a time out doesn't mean just molding into the sofa <laughs> like this lady is doing. It's about making the most of the time that you are having a time out, you know, like a, va a proper vacation, like connecting to yourself, not the TV. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Anyway, there is always enough. It's just a reminder here that someone else's success isn't going to take away from your own, okay? What's that on my finger? There's always enough. And when you embrace that and don't feel like you need, you're need, you going to run out of time, then you can realize, okay, I have enough. There is enough in the world. I can take my time, connect to myself, and then, take, uh, and then figure out what I need to do next, okay? Anyway, a very long-winded way of saying it, but I was trying to find the best way of saying it, to be honest, because... It was hard for me to put it into words. But anyway, don't fall into low vibrational energies is one thing I want to say. Two of swords, you have to cut some things out this week, okay? Make a very big decision. You know, sometimes it's just going cold, just making a decision and taking action on it. Don't dissipate there. 
Two of Swords can sometimes come up when it's a decision that we've been needing to make for a while, but you've been a bit distracted on it. Righty ho, my lovely Gemini's. Let's see. King of Swords. Well, you are an ass line. It's about being strategic, being logical, figuring out what it is that you need to do. Okay. At least in this very present moment. Okay. You guys are very intelligent. You guys have a lot of knowledge. Let's use that knowledge. Some of you practice what you preach. <laughs> You're very good at giving other people advice. What would you advise yourself in this situation? All right, you have the chariot, forward movement, chasing your dreams, coming outside that comfort zone here, and figuring out what else is out there. If you don't know what to do next, they're saying go out and look for something. <laughs> um, maybe you're not inspired enough at the moment and they're calling you to go out, go and, go and find inspiration. Um, basically meaning just putting yourself in the unknown is what it feels like like going to a place you've never been to before or taking a different route to work like just changing your routines can lead you to things that you know can just lead you to things that change your mind or make you see something differently but the king of swords and the the chariot feels like they're asking you to plan a journey even if it's just a spiritual one and the fool hmm, it feels like there is a, a leap of faith coming up here Stepping into the unknown, I love that. My arm's behind my back because so I'm getting a backache, guys. Right, it's taking a leap of faith, trusting in the universe when it comes down to taking a new journey. I do see that you are going to go on a new journey, but maybe you don't know where, you, where to go. Knight of Wands, another card of travel. So it could be some travel or movement going on at this time. The strength card in the middle of your reading, kind of similar to that pride. Because I was sensing like Leo energy, like lion energy with, when the pride came up. A lot of you guys have a lot to be proud of. Okay, don't let this like little blip in your life make you reconsider everything that you should be proud of, you know, um, in your life. Did I phrase that right? You know, maybe there were things that you were proud of in your past, but now lately, maybe you've not been feeling yourself. You don't feel like you're on a, you've been doing the right things, but that's okay. Life happens like that. That that happens. Like don't, don't take uh, credit away from yourself in general. You are a strong person. You should have pride within yourself. Um, this, this week will call for your courage. Okay. And your boldness. Okay. And temperance and also the need to be patient to take a pit stop when you need to, to, to take your time, to align yourself, to, to bring harmony first into your life before you can take action on something, okay? Maybe you, you guys need a vacation. And the Knight of Swords. All right, so maybe there is some communication coming in. The Moon and the Death card. This was the top line of... Um, Aquarius is energy, I think. So some of you could get some information here that might catch you by surprise. It does feel like maybe like a secret being exposed or, you know, if I'm going to speak as if it's something outside of yourself, number one, it could be what this gossip is about, actually, to be honest with you. And again, maybe you are being called to see this from a, like a humorous kind of way. The only people who will judge you are people who are doing less than you or people who are jealous of you, okay, in general. Um, the Knight of Swords, the Moon, the Death card. It does feel like something's going to come out to the surface here very quickly. Uh, and I think it is going to cause an ending. This could be in a friendship, for example. Like somebody's just saying something that is kind of untrue, actually. Like someone could ha like accuse you of something and it's just not true. Or well, they could be being very triggered and coming at you from a very shadow side of themselves. Like it doesn't feel very very nice someone could be even gossiping about you even as well and maybe you find out about it through someone else i don't know uh either way if it's outside of yourself that's what i'm seeing but for some of you if this is within and you're not dealing with anyone outside of yourself then again something could be surfacing kind of similar message but it's just internal okay so it's really up to you to kind of nip it in the bud here shine a light on whatever the fears are the insecurities Whatever it is that might be trying to poop on your parade. Don't know why I'm hearing that. And shut it down. Okay? Transform that energy. When you shine a light on the shadows, there are no more shadows. So awareness is key. Okay, my angels. So that is what I have for you. I wish I could dive in deeper, but I have so many other readings to do. Next week I will be back, I hope, to my longer readings. But anyway... 
let let's be aware of what we've said for the week let's see how it comes up remember gratitude is key taking a time out is also important make sure that you're not reacting on your triggers too very important here and go back to doing some things that you enjoy to do by the way that night of wands that we had was really calling for you to be a conqueror again and to dive into things to seek adventure to seek fun okay um to go after your passions where is your heart leading you be youthful this week okay learn something new take an again take an adventure go on a hike i don't know do something um put yourself in the na- in nature most definitely i feel like that could be quite good for you but anyway i love you guys wish you all the best thank you for being here with me and i hope to see you guys next time all right